walking tight, rose the light, and I call you. We are in this huge project in District 19. This is bounded by Upper Serangoon Road and Upper Paya Lebar Road. Today, we are going to show you a three bed plus study standing at 1,496 square feet in total size. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to The Minton. A brief intro on the main turn. This is located along Lorong Asu. This is situated between Serangoon and Coven MRT station. We are a 12 minutes walk from Serangoon MRT. The main turn is a joint venture by King Leong and LKHS Builder. They have a track record like a luxurious condo which is in Kanthu that's called Klimt. They do have mayor house and principal garden. The main turn has a total of 1145 units ranging from one bader all the way to five bader penthouses. All these units are spread across are 17 different blocks and all these are of a north-south orientation. The Minton is a 99-year leasehold project from 2007. This attained its POP in 2013 which means for the new owners here you still get a healthy balance lease of 83 over years. So out of the 1,000 over units that you can find in the Minton, there are about 420 over units of 3 bader configuration, of which there are 4 different layouts that you can choose from. So layout A would be the most compact 3 bader that you can find, this is 1,002 over square feet. There is a layout B for 3 bader, standing at over 1,300 square feet. For layout C, this is a dual key concept, this is 1,004 over square feet. Last but not least, where we are standing, this is the largest 3 bader that you can find in the Minton. 1496 square feet in total. So what's so special about this configuration is that it comprises of a study. You have two dual balconies. So our stack is really unique because it's right at the side of the Minton, which means that for this configuration, you do get to enjoy this unblocked view towards the lander enclave. So if you bring out the floor plan for this 3 bed plus study, in the main area, you do have a combined living plus dining. That's where you can find your balcony. There is a dry kitchen, wet kitchen together with the yard. So behind the corridor is where you can find 3 bedrooms plus the study and 2 bathrooms. So our owners have spent close to $100,000 in terms of renovation. I would say that the condition of the whole home is still in very much pristine condition. So I must say that this layout is really unique for a 3 bed plus study. Once you enter in from the main door on the right side is where you can find 3 huge balcony sliding door. From this side is where you can access to the second balcony or the service yard. Or if not, you can also make your way through from the kitchen as well. Moving on, you can find this dry kitchen. This is originally given from the developer. All the power points here can be found at the site. So what the owners have done is to add all these kind of glass shelving panels so that they can put in some of their display, their trophies, or maybe perhaps as a new owner, you want to put in your wine or your liquor here as well. we head into the living room, what I really love is this whole combined living and dining concept. Right in front, the owners have installed all this TV console with all the carpentry. One thing to note about the three bader kind of layout that you can usually find in Singapore, most of the developers, they usually will give a enlarged balcony stretching from your balcony all the way to your living. But I think this size as of now would be fantastic. at the orientation of this balcony here where we are facing it towards the north. One really fantastic point to note is that because we are right at the side of this project, we get to enjoy this unblocked view towards the landed enclave. And even despite having some of the HDB housing right at the corner, because we are on a really high level, we kind of just overlook the whole of this estate here. So if you are a family with young kids, of course the first thing you want to note is that you can definitely add in the zip track or even invisible growth for the safety of your loved one. So some of the renovation ideas that you can do in this balcony is probably for you to overlay the artificial grass patch over here so that it becomes a really cozy corner for you to chill or to dine, to have your outdoor alfresco set over here. At 
this corner is their dedicated dining area. As of now, you can see it's six seater. What I really love is that they place this mirror right at this corner. The good thing about mirror is that it really helps to enlarge the whole visual of the whole place. into the kitchen right at this corner is where you can find a dedicated area for your fridge you do have some of the carpentry that is done and given by the developers to fit in all the utensils or the appliances so say if you're someone that likes to cook there is a sliding door that is found over here to prevent all the fumes from heading out so as you step into the kitchen you will find that this would be a very generously sized kitchen nowadays they have a l-shaped kind of countertop this is made of quartz there is a cooker hood and hop together with with a microwave oven all these are supplied by Electrolux so this area over here is where you want to fit in your washer together with the dryer as we move further in on the right side is where you can find the home shelter so really rare for you to find a home shelter nowadays even in the new launches so having a home shelter of course it can serve as a helper room or even a storeroom for your family needs so this is the second entrance towards the service yard at this corner is where you can find your powder room the second balcony that you can find in this home very well thought out of design by the developer this layout here allows you to do all your laundry you can put some of the storages over here and keep the balcony clean so the owners have installed the invisible grills right over here at the corner is where you can have access to the AC compressor Before I show you the rest of the home, if you are a family hunting for a decent 3 bedded size of minimum 1,000 over square feet, here are some of the options that you can explore in District 19. So at the corner here, you can find Sunglade, that TOP in 2003. The 3 bedders are asking at $1.68 to $1.8 million with a size of 1,001 to 1,004 over square feet. The PSF is around $1,002 to $1,005. You can also find Central View, that TOP in 2005 with an asking price of $1.25 to $1.38 million with a size of 980 to 1,200 over square feet. The PSF is around $1,000 to $1,002. Not forgetting there is Casa Rosa, that POP in 2001 with an asking price of $1.54 million to 2 over million with a size at 1,003 to 1,005 over square feet with a PSF of $1,001 to $1,003. So if you're someone who is exploring the newer options that you can find in this district for affinity at Serangoon, the largest three bedder that you can find is only about 1,002 over square feet and that is consistent throughout all the new launches because the developer need to keep the whole quantum digestible for the new buyers. So coming back to our unit, this is a three bed plus study layout with a total of 1,496 square feet with a total asking price of only $2.3 million that translates to about only 1,500 over for PSF. I'm going to bring you to the first common bedroom. Now, what you need to know about the Minton is that all the units over here do come with a bay window. But I would say that right now, this would be a blank canvas and a squarish layout for you to redesign the kind of bedroom that you would like for your kids. As of now, there is already a wardrobe and then you can place your single bed right in the center of the room. Now onto the second bedroom, so you will realize that all the bedrooms here do come with parquet flooring. Now one of the good ideas that the owners have done is to utilize both the bay window together with some of the storage space to create a platform for the bed. So over here you can put a single bed. So right at the corner is where you can find the three panel wardrobe. Right beside the bed is where you can find the study desk. Something unique about this layout is that it comes with a study. The owners have already installed all this carpentry, all nicely done up and still in very good condition. There even is a cushion for you to just rest here. Right beside is where you can find the first common bathroom. So right behind me, you can find your basin and the WC with this nice countertop and storage space right at the bottom. On this side is where you can find the wet area. So it has been nicely glassed up with this door over here. Similar 
last but not least, you have the highlight of this home, which is the master bedroom. Now, one thing you want to note is that all the three bedrooms do have the same facing as the living and dining. So I love how the Minton make use of a lot of window to allow a lot of natural light to come in. The owners have nicely fit in a cushion plus even a study desk for them to work from home or this is perhaps where you want to fit your vanity set. So the current setup is the owner has fit in a king size. There is some of the carpentry that's being done up at this corner. So if you realize the wardrobe is nicely flush against the walls, total you have four panels for you to fit in all the clothes. For those of you who are not that familiar with where the Minton is, this is in the middle of the Serangoon and Coven MRT station. Now for the Serangoon side, you do have Next Mall, Heartland Mall. For parents who are thinking about enrolling your kids to the school nearby, one of the top choice that people always rave about when it comes to the Minton is that we are within one kilometer to PLMGS, that's Paya Leba Methodist Girls School. And this whole school comprises of both primary and secondary students. So within the vicinity, parents can also find St. Gabriel Secondary, Maristella High and Cedar Primary School. Not forgetting, there are also international schools that's within 10 minutes drive. Those are the Australian International and Stanford American. So if you're someone who drives, this location here is really convenient for you as well because just head out to Lorong Asu that will get you to Upper Paya Leba Road. If you head upwards, that's where you can get access to the CTE that will bring you about 10 to 15 minutes drive to the central area. At the corner is where you can find the master ensuite really beautifully done out there's a lot of marble countertop that you can find here this is an l-shaped kind of configuration this way you can find the wc and a sink behind me you can find a standing shower nicely glassed up as well So because of the 1,000 over units that you can find here in the Minton, you have a long comprehensive list of facilities for residents to enjoy. This being in a capital E shape, most of the facilities and amenities are found in the centre of the compound. There is a jogging track, you have the swimming pool, there is barbecue, pits, tennis court, everything you can think of in a nice condo, you will find it right in Minton itself. We have come to the end of this home tour video. I hope that you have enjoyed the home tour as much as we do. Where we are standing on, this is a three bed plus study. A total size of 1496 square feet. Really generous for a growing family. Where we are located is in between Serangoon and Coven MRT station. Asking at a quantum of only $2.3 million. That's only $1,005 odd dollars in terms of PSF. Now, if you are interested to arrange for a viewing, do contact our listing manager. The description is all down below in the box. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can also be found on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Once again, my name is Jess Lee. Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. So if you are of Malay, okay, right in between Serangoon and po, 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 po. Now because of what, oh, uh, so now be, yeah. So plus study with a quarter, to, 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 to. So we have come to the end of the video.